All right, Sam, you're hosting this. Okay, so we will start off the video. Sam is in center chair. He's hosting the video. I, I think. What, what is this video? This video is us. I don't think you need to ask the host. But oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and this video is us on the way home from the guys' retreat. Woo woo! 2023. So I think we should start this off by trying to name the unofficial mascot of today's podcast. Gerald. I'm going to wonder about Sam. I already have a chicken named Gerald. Sam? Oh. Sam likes skulls. Gerard. From, I love skulls. From actually. gas station. Gerard. From Gerard. No, Gerard. 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 Yes. Gerard. 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 Yep. So we're just decided Gerard. to record this. Sam, you're supposed to be hosting. Okay, so I'm hosting. Right, th this is named Gerard. I would put it in like the background, but we don't have any. Okay, so we will be discussing and um, coming up with answers of the universe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we, we asked around. We asked some questions. Uh... We asked you to ask us questions. Not you. We actually asked the car to ask questions. Which yeah. Is just us. The so, car is actually really great. Um, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Uh, and so, what? It's uh, a smart car. The like first, one, the first one we have, we actually have to find out right now because we didn't do what I said. Okay. Anyways. What? Exactly. <laughs> okay. That's not a fake, dude. dude. This is an actual. Oh, okay, I will act. I'm sorry, okay, are we mean. doing improv? Because if you ask a question, improv. I have to say yes and. You know, that's like the number one. Yes thing. and. I actually learned if that the, if oh Tim, Timothy, shout out if then Timothy and the if then he needs to go into ministry. He really should. He's he great. like his improvement Tim, from the first time Tim, I met him. Our intern Tim, great job on your session. Adam, a great job on his session. Oh, yes. Adam did a great so, great. so good. But hearing those men sing, though, woo! -hoo! Man, those guys sang. It was yeah. just a bunch of squeaky middle school voices in harmony. Don't listen to him. No they were awesome. <laughs> it, was it, great. Was it was great. Glorious. It sounded like manhood. Yeah. So, so what's your question? Uh, um, we're gonna talk about random stuff. What yeah. was your highlight of the weekend? Okay, good question. Of the weekend. Of the weekend. Um, good question, Sam. Thanks. You're a good host. I'm working on it. I like to play and catch with everybody. That was fun. With, uh, uh, we played baseball as much as we could because it was 20 mile per hour winds. Um, it was crazy. It was insane. Luke hit, Luke hit but, um, Don in the belly. I did. Threw the ball right at him. Yeah, and he caught it in the gut. That's what you're supposed to, you're supposed to throw it at him. But Don though, Shout out, man. You didn't fall. You kept going. The improvement throughout the game of catch was, was great. Was, was Did you notice that I threw okay. like I'd never thrown the baseball before in my life? I was really? terrible. I was throwing in the dirt. Uh, I mean, it, also, the wind was you looked, insane. You looked like you played baseball when you threw it. That's my job. I just want to look like I played basketball. Like you still kind of got the baseball build. Yeah. You know, really? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. <laughs> my highlight of the week was I like Sam my, Mine was definitely like everyone asked me Who are you? And I was just like I just questioned my identity You know Because I was like Am I a leader? Am I a follower? Am I I'm of Christ But I don't oh, know that good. That's the thing you, know? you question your identity But not your identity That's Christ. right Christ, well, yeah. You know. yeah so that was my favorite part Because they had like Three kids come up to me And be like Who They're are you? They're not kids was, or, They're students They're students Yeah yeah, I say kids. They're like a year younger than me. So, yeah, students. There you go. Um, yeah, it was it was it was exceptional. And also when we were singing, and Steve was like, "Mike three, Mike three, say I'm not." We could Mike never two. figure <laughs> out where Mike three and two were. Yeah, yeah, that was wonderful. You would think we had like a 32 channel board. It was only a four channel board. It was fun. It but was he did a good job. I agree. What was your highlight of? So, when we post the videos, you can thank Sam for the high quality recording. Oh yeah. It's not, it's, it's... If the recordings, if the recordings are not high quality, just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't and enjoy. We are not open to constructive criticism. No. no we are not. No. <laughs> no. No. So, what was your highlight? My highlight, besides being in the car with these two guys for a couple hours, on Friday and then today 
which is a highlight. They're very smart. Another highlight, I'm going to go to the spiritual stuff, which is the most important stuff. We made a playlist. We did make a playlist. Make, that's, wait, is, that's not a spiritual thing. It is no, it's a spiritual thing, but it was awesome to move. Oh, yeah. Tell, I'm eating my, my, my lunch, y'all, so excuse me. Yeah. Tell them what the playlist is. Yo, you want me to read it off? Um, yes. Good work. I'm I good. mean, it's just a bunch of songs that we like. Um, some of it's like Christian music. Some of it's just music by Christians. It's all good. Sam added a few heathen songs. Oh, so yeah. Basically, <laughs> there are heathen songs. So basically, when you hear the heathen songs, that's Skull Man Sam back here. Skull Man Sam. Oh, man. Oh, that actually sounds good. <laughs> okay, so if you guys want the playlist, it's titled Guys Weekend with a photo of the yeah, face on it. I can't see that. Yeah, yeah. it's great. You should put Drive. Drive Guys Weekend. Okay, I will edit. Can you change it? Yeah, you yeah. can edit it. So we would love to hear, if you watch this video, all three of you that will, if you watch the playlist on Spotify, we would love to hear your input. Yeah. It is fantastic. It's two hours long, so like just listen to some of it. Yeah. Bro, it's not two hours long, it's two hours and one minute long. Oh, okay. Get your facts straight. That's true. Have a Get quiet time, Troy. Come on. Yeah, just set it like a low enough volume where you can enjoy the vibes. Mm -hmm. exactly. But you're not like distracted from your quiet time, which you That's should right. be having every day. But it's not legalism. We're not doing it to be to no. be in Christ. We're doing it because we're in Christ. Amen. We Amen. learned that yeah. this weekend. Yes, we did. So, but my favorite time was watching the young men get in small groups. Oh yeah. Listen and participate and pray together. And uh, it was really great having our our men leaders, our really godly leaders, lead these young men. That was awesome. We got some really good leaders this yeah. weekend. That was shout out to. Dimitri, David, Kenny, Adam, Adam, Tim, David, Sandy, Luke, Sam. Who'd I miss? Who'd I miss? Did you say David? I said David. Oh, okay. David. Um. Uh, I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. And then our our. Our executive chefs. Oh yes. The very, food was amazing. Whoa! Food was amazing. The things you can do with bacon, ladies and gentlemen. Bacon uh, is a powerful force. To be things right. you can do with bacon. Sam, I'm gonna try not to cover your face with my hand. Oh, that's fine. You know you can. It's, uh, it's all good. I don't think so. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> is uh, Kathy and Kelly great job? Very amazing. Though. Did I forget any guy leaders? I feel like I have. Uh, do you get who's the bus driver again? I always. Kenny. Okay, Kenny. we got him. Yep, we got him. So, I think we're good. So, great guy. That was yeah. awesome. Great to have you men with us. Yeah, one of my highlights. Another one of my highlights was being one of the leaders in the small groups. Because, like, even though I had some crazy kids sometimes, they were still able to focus in when they needed to and say they uh, were active and reading the word yep. and talking about it and I was just it was really cool to see that yep. Yep. shout out to all the people I had in my small groups there's yep. a lot it was yep. different every time yep. we changed it up we changed it up in a good way what'd you think about the beach it was fun it, it was, was fun. so windy it, it was, was quite windy like I said 20 mile per hour winds <laughs> you jumped in the air you landed two feet away but here's my question did you prefer the wind over the sand nets that you found this morning? Yes. Definitely. I think I, I definitely got sunburned pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah bad. Very bad. Yeah. You should see the other guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I got, I've been put on aloe pretty religiously. Yeah. And, uh, but it's uh, it was worth it. Because now, that sunburn gonna turn into tan. A little bit. It's gonna flake off. He's gonna be like a he's gonna be like a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> because you see Rango? You remember when he was in the sun and he goes and he goes like three oh. times. <laughs> so yeah, that was good stuff. I will say this, I wanna I wanna go ahead and tell on Sam. Sam did a good job. Sam is a photographer. A really good photographer. Thanks, appreciate you it. should check out his work. Yes. You should check out my work actually. However, today, if I think about it, I'm gonna post the pictures I took today. 
he got up Sunday, no Saturday. Oh, oh. oh my God! To go take beautiful pictures of the sunrise. So this this morning we get up, walk outside. The waves are small and subtle. Though there's not much wind. There's not a cloud in the sky as the sun goes. And where is Sam? In the bed. He didn't even get up. Okay, listen. To be fair, to be 100% fair, I did wake up and think it, and, uh, and I thought I was just like I should wake up, and I was just like, but God is good all the time. <laughs> he is good all the time. So, so By God's grace, there'll be another one. That was my. That was my. But it was legit. Process. It was Crazy. legit. I think we know so, that bus. So with that said, I need to do this. Uh, will you? Do you have? Tim Dechenko's yes. phone number. Will you text him and ask him what time they think they're going to be home based on the map and then let me know because then I've got to text, I've got to call Rachel and let her know when to send the text order out. Okay, what well, <laughs> do you, when do y'all think y'all are going to get? Do you have maps on there? Yes. Type in directions to Indian Trail. Okay. We're doing this on live TV, y'all. Yeah, live this TV. is TV. It's going to be on television. I'm not going to hit edit. WCCB Charlotte. You're CW. in the car with us. This is the stuff we do in the car. This is... I don't know why I'm hosting this. Sam's supposed to host this oh, show. Oh, yeah. Okay, Come here. on. I'll help y'all out. Okay, so uh, while, while we are having... Hours, not technical minutes. difficulties, but while... Oh my god, my seatbelt locked again. You know how when you're a kid and you're just like banging on the seatbelt and then it locks yep. and then you're like, Mom, you know? You're like, how do I get out of this? I gotta readjust it. But anyways. 241. We're gonna be home at 241? 241. Okay, do you have Rachel's phone number? I bet you don't. Uh, I doubt it. Sam, do you have Rachel or Dimitri's phone number? I don't. I have their number. Should I text him and text tell him, him. To text? Rachel. Text him and ask him to text Rachel and say send a text alert out for parents to meet us in the gravel lot at 245. Okay. You text. It locked Rachel. me. I give up. I give up on the seatbelt. It's a scam. It's not alert. right actually. Sam, are you stuck right there? Uh, you know, I'm not going to answer that question. Um, <laughs> you look so uncomfortable right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good and fine. Are you in pain right now? I am. I am a little emotionally, emotionally, <laughs> but physically a little. Because <laughs> the seatbelt locked again, and I just just to unbuckle it and then buckle it. That's what I did, but it locked again. I don't know what to do. I'm okay, can you text Rachel to send a text alert for parents to meet in the gravel okay. lot at 2:45? Correct. There we go. The we text is sent. Seat. I'll let you know when he reads it. Yes. You can tell when he reads it. Yeah. Why? Well, you yeah. can get away with anything with an iPhone. He has a reader seats on. I mean, you can turn it off. You can? Yeah, I turned it off. Well, teach me how to do that. Okay. It kind of worked. If my seatbelt is still yeah. weird. But anyways. Uh, okay, I will host more. Come on, Jim. Um, let's see here. We're what? behind the bus right now. That's why we're going. What was y'all's favorite meal of the weekend? Ooh. Ooh. I, I got to go, and this is probably because I did it, and I did something a little special. Mm. You get a barbecue sandwich, oh. and you put their baked, baked beans, beans oh. on the sandwich. Oh I saw gosh. you do that. The baked beans were so good. Incredible. It was, it was Incredible. Because in the baked beans was hot dog, weenie, uh -huh. bacon, uh -huh. and some glorious sauce of some kind, I don't know. He read it at 12.07. Okay. What a scam. We got it, you, Tim. It's so good. It was so good. What about yours, Sam? Mine was probably the barbecue. It was really good. Mm. But, you know, I had, me and Luke split a Pop-Tart. I haven't had a Pop-Tart in so long. What? It was so good. And I just remember, because me and my grandpa used to go to the beach together, and he would just be like, I'd just be like, hey, can I have a Pop-Tart? He'd be like, don't ask me. <laughs> and so I just right. ate like a whole box of Pop-Tarts like every morning. And I, I it. it was it was a good summer that summer. Tim said he already texted the parents. I will text the parent and Rachel 30 minutes prior to arrival so they can be ready. How did he text the parents? Tim just 
just I don't know. Like Hold on. Let me How do you do this. that? Tom's a tech genius. He's a I did Tim, not get a tribe text Tim, alert. Tim, do you, are you still subscribed? I am still subscribed. So you'll get it when Rachel hits it. You watch. Um, Shout out to Rachel. She didn't go with us. We missed you, Rachel. We did miss you. What was your favorite meal? Coffee in the morning. Coffee in the morning. Legit. Mm, so good. I bet he has like a group message with all of their parents. Yeah. Maybe. Or or maybe. Or maybe he texted his mom because his mom's cell number was on the <laughs> phone today. And she has all her numbers. Sorry! Should I tell him that I didn't get the text alert? Nah, we'll be fine. He needs to text Rachel though. Because Rachel needs to know. Okay. Rachel likes to know those kind of things. So, as a leader, Steve, as yes, a ma'am. leader, was if. Okay, hold on. Hold on Are you going to ask me to make a comparison? Yes, I am. So, as Who's a leader. Who's your favorite kid? <laughs> As a leader, how would this, if this guy's weekend went on for a week, how would that compare to camp? Mmm, it's a very good question. There'd be a lot more guys there. Yeah, but like the girls. I think that I think that the guys did it really, for the most part, because they are guys. Guys are great and complicated. I think the guys did a really good job. I think we have because we we just I think. In the word, they did a good job in the word. They sang really what happened. <laughs> just really, he said, okay, so just text, tell Rachel and not the parents? Yes, tell Rachel. Rachel will do the text alert. Yeah. How is he going to tell the parents? I don't know. Call Tim. Apparently I already Yeah, we're calling Tim. Call we Tim. A, we got a radio. We're going to put Tim yeah. on live. We're going to put Tim on, tell him he's on, he's on live and he's being recorded. Yes. <laughs> hey Tim, you're on speakerphone and you're being recorded on the video we're recording. Hey, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I need you to text Rachel and tell her to send out a text alert about what time we're going to be here. Because text Rachel and set, tell her to send a text alert that we will be back at the church at 2.45 p.m. <laughs> Hold on. And they need to park in the gravel parking lot. Tell her to send that out. How? I have a question. How was? How were you going to send a message to all the parents? Yeah, but I, Bubba, you don't have to call all the parents. That would be crazy. Yeah, that's okay. Just send it to Rachel. They're supposed to have text alerts. She will take care of it. All right, tell everybody bye on the video. All right, bye everyone on the video. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Yeah. That's funny. That was That's that was Tim. Tim. That's like those, uh, you know how they had on, I don't know if you guys listen to 91.9 frequently, but they'll be like, so we got a radio guest, and they'll be like, and they'll be like, I love how Jesus is moving in your life right now, you know? And you can't even hear him. That's and it's true. Charlie Brown's. Charlie Brown's teacher. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I, you guys didn't let me know if it's annoying that I'm eating on video. Well, I'm oh, gonna well. do. We're gonna post it anyways, so. I got yeah. two left though. It's so good. I was gonna eat something, but yeah, I just. You know, if we went to Florence, we could go to Bucky's. That's what I was thinking. Because Sam had never been to Bucky's before. Me either. I've never been, been to Bucky's. It's so good. I have a shirt. Did you go to the bathroom and then the gas station? Oh, it was nice. It is that, it, Bucky's is that times a thousand. Wow. Wow. Like, I hear they do bathrooms nicer. as well. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. You know, if you're going to open a gas that. station, you should probably start with the bathroom. Bathrooms to find a good gas station. Yes! Is that, is that wrong? It is not wrong. Nope. Well, 
Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. See, you're about to change it, but it's not true. Unless, of course, you have those little hot dog rolly things. Yeah, which, yeah. I will tell you again, those are, just magical. Those are evidence that Jesus is clean. <laughs> Wonderful yeah. bathrooms. We could turn right here and, 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 and hot dogs on the little spinny things is proof that Jesus is enthroned in heaven oh, today. Yes. Very good. Yes. So great and glorious. All right, Sam, what else are you talking about? Let's see. Um, so, what kind of wood type is your favorite? Wood? Yes. Um, ooh, I, I, I just, I like wood in general. I'm a big wood Yeah, man. but like pine, oak. Yeah. In general, um, you just like all kinds. You're not a man of taste. I wasn't. I He's never said mystery. that. I was just <laughs> saying that in general, I really like wood, and I'm getting to my specific. Come on. I'll, I'd probably go mahogany. Oh. Woo! Nice. Yeah, a little bit of red in there. Oh. Right. I would say cedar because it's very decorative, and also, I think that I'm not sure. But I know that cedar was often used to like, it was used to uh, build like the, a lot of like biblical structures. Wasn't it used to build, uh, oh man, what was it? Solomon's the, temple. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It's also, it's just really. In the, nice. in the, in the temple? Yep. It was, it's just very nice. To, cedars of Lebanon. We saw the cedars of Lebanon. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Cedars, and are probably most trees. They can only grow to a certain altitude. Mm -hmm. And in Lebanon, on the mountains, fun fact, when you go to the top of the mountain, the trees are less tall and they're more squatty. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So cedars up in Lebanon on the mountains are more, more, they look more like bushes than they do the trees. Oh. That's interesting. Didn't know if you knew that. My favorite wood is coal wood from Hawaii. What a wood. Because a good friend of mine from church made me a guitar out of coal wood. He, he gave me a guitar made out of coal wood. And it's legit. This is the one I play in the sanctuary sometimes. It's gorgeous, man. It sounds wonderful. Would you guys rather dance every time a song comes on or sing? Oh, every same. time a song comes same. on, I would say. No, I'd rather dance. Uh, yeah, I would. You know, I could. I would do both actually, because I'm just that extra. Speaking yeah. of dancing, the guys on this retreat wanted just dances before every session. Yeah, that would have been so fun. I'm so impressed. I knew these men were special. These men <laughs> are not afraid to sing or dance. They're real men. Yes. Yeah, because you know we, we add up those about. just dance scores to to the absolute decimal. We do. We we, just, we know how to do this. We don't falter out on this. I just to let you guys know watching this, I let Luke and Sam in on actually the counting firm that does the counting for the just dances. And so they know but they've been swore to secrecy because yeah. we know how you are, middle school students. You will try to call them and pad the numbers. Right. Uh, They're very expensive. They are really it's like half of our church's expenses. But yeah. shh, Sam! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> My goodness. Tribe's budget for now, the year is just I'm insane. so right now concerned that I told Sam anything. Oh, yeah, wow. I would be too. Never trust him. You again. give Sam a ghost energy drink and he's just a well of information. Oh, yeah. Somebody else's information. Yeah. Tim wants to know what rest area we're going to. That's for Kenny to find out. Does he not know? Does oh, Kenny I got know? the text alert. Yes! Does Kenny need me to tell him what rest area we're stopping at? Or is Tim just wondering? Thank you, Luke, for corresponding with Tim this whole time. You are quite welcome. I enjoy talking to Tim. Tim has now been a part of this video. Tim is just yeah. Really awesome. First yeah. off, at first it started out with a shout out to Tim, and now Tim's part of it. Tim's just... It kind of feels like Tim's taking it over. Y'all, all right, I got a plan. Sam, it sounds like Tim's oh, taking Katie, your job. Katie okay, said listen. For you to find it, for oh, okay. I got a plan for y'all. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open Tell him the sunroof. We're gonna open the sunroof. We're gonna fall up right next to the van. I'm gonna open the van. 
What is, hold up. The bus. What, what's happening right now? And we're going to steal Tim, <laughs> and we're going to put Tim in the car with Put him in the car? Yeah. No, nah, Tim needs to be on that bus, because I know who's on that bus. <laughs> and I love him, but they need some Tim supervision. Yeah. They need good guys. Yeah. Just a good bus. So, what else are we going to talk about? Um, let's see. What talk about let's, let's talk if about if a you're still with us, question. Okay, if you're deep, still with us in 25 minutes, deep deep I'm in Because there's been deep. a whole lot of rambling about nothing. Yeah, That's there true. is. There is. But All right, here we go. Sam? the experience. Let, uh, allow me just, just a second. Um, oh, okay. So, from a Christian standpoint... The only you, standpoint that matters. Right. Yeah. Do you think YouTubers and content creators Ooh. have a good job? Do you think it's a worthy job? No. Why or why not? Explain. I think it's a... No, I think it's great because I watch it. Personally. But is it... Oh, wait, sorry. I shouldn't have jumped in there. You guys jump in there. I'm sorry. I mean... I was just being facetious. You're part of the podcast. Here's, yes, here's, but I don't want to yeah. be the first to answer. Um, do you think actors are deserving of a job? Because that's similar. They're very so similar. are you saying content creators on YouTube are really just actors? Well, no, because... I mean, we're I'm acting saying, right here's, now. Here's, the, here's my next question. Yeah. Do you think directors are worthy of a job? Oh! Do you think cinematographers are worthy of a job? Do you I think am. producers? I, I can... <laughs> because... The content creators are basically the director, producer, actor, star of their own yeah. show. Wow! Wow! What sometimes, just I mean, happened? I mean, sometimes it's the team of people, but yeah. like, it's it's its own thing. Like, it has become such a part of our life society. and a part of our society to have videos. Dude, go ahead and give an altar call right now. I'm going <laughs> to give my life to this truth. My goodness, I think. Whoa! Like you've got, you, there are some YouTube channels and YouTube shows that are the quality of TV right. shows. Yes, I agree. Um, I agree. And Just keep going, evangelist. Just keep working it. <laughs> like there are some that are worthy of like Golden Globes. I'm going yeah. to get, what? Yeah. I think I'm, I'm not only coming down front to respond to this message, I'm going to give money to missions <laughs> on this one. Oh my goodness. I'm going to start good. tithing. <laughs> So, con so now I changed my mind. Uh -huh. I think that content creators on YouTube, I think it's illegitimate. Well, I, I agree with your point, Luke, but also, you think about it. Here's what I think about it. Because sometimes you look at it, and like you look at somebody who has a 9-to-5 job, and you think, oh, well, YouTube star, you know, you, people on YouTube aren't working that hard. Oh, my goodness. Right? Some of them are they so are. hard. Right? But here's some the thing. Are, some of them are too hard. Regardless if you think it's an easy job, which it might not be the hardest job in the world, they have to work super hard to get there. You know? yeah. like and if, most of them have jobs as well. Like right. I know one that he owns a vet clinic, owns a shop, and does YouTube. And has like three channels. Like, hey, like for instance, we post this video. We don't work hard at it. We make. We have tons of subscribers. I mean, yeah, like if you took we the, have, we're gonna make money off of this video. We're gonna make so much money. If you took the seventy people that watched it and weighed them all, I don't think it comes up to a ton. But you're valuable to us. You are very valuable. You are. So, what I'm saying is, I think I'm changing my mind a little bit. There are some people who create content who uh, should not. Yeah. Right. Unless, of course, it's just a random trip and you post it. Yeah. Uh, but I think, yeah, okay. I think quality stuff is good. I will say this, though. Just like acting, it's kind of fickle because, like, what makes you popular so fast can also go away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Sam, that was a really good question. What? Let's think. Let's think about my next question here. We got one more question. We're gonna do one more question. Only one. I think we should like completely start over because we did so much of just like okay. talking about. Keep going. We're not gonna. Okay, just keep talking. We can cut out. We'll edit it. All right. Yes. Let's, let's see here. I, I the serious be... stuff will come. Serious. <laughs> When you watch somebody else who's creating the content. Very much serious. Uh, all, right, all right, come on. We should have asked people to ask us questions. We should have. On like oh my gosh. This is why we're not content creators. This is why. We're not, we we're not are, even We don't think ahead. Tim said, I found one on I-26 before the loop of Columbia. No. That's good. That won't be. That, that's just in about an hour. That's only going to be in about 45 minutes. See if there's one on 77. 
on the other side of Columbia. Tim is still trying to insert himself into this video. He said no. Try and find one. Does he have to go pee right now or something? Seven. Does he get to go pee? Yeah. Tim, stop drinking. Tim's got to pee. I'm trying to think. Tim's got to pee. I don't know. Um, if you could have like any car that you wanted. That's not deep and meaningful, Luke. Deep this was gonna get to deep and meaningful. Okay. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I would get me a good old Chevy truck and a spittoon to go with it. <laughs> That's what I would get. <laughs> so I could just be on my truck. We could be recording a podcast and I could just lean over and you know the, the sound it makes in the can and it's just ding, ding. Oh I love that sound. Yeah, that's what I would do. Ba-ting. Steve. What would I drive? Yes. Um, I would drive a 2007 uh, Trailblazer. Oh. Oh, wow. Beige. Oh. Mm, fancy. With, uh, hang on. Oh. With that very, that strip right in the front, I want yeah. half of it gone. Oh. Knocked out by a car wash. That's my dream car. Oh, wait. I'm driving it right now. Oh, Sam. What a plot twist. What? Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> wow. Sam, what about you? I just said a, a, a oh, big sorry. old Chevy truck. So do you actually want, like, a Chevy truck? An old oh, Chevy yeah. truck? You really that's do? What I would do. Wait, did you say what you wanted to do? No. I want, like, I want to have, like, an older Corvette. Oh, yeah. Like I think those look really, like, I like the minimalistic yeah, aspect I don't like the it. new ones. The new ones? No. The new ones are too much. Newer cars are just uglier in But general. the newer Corvettes just try too hard. Yeah. yeah. I like I like older cars because they're they're just they're more simple. And okay. they look nicer. Here we go. Controversial question. You ready? Yes. How much longer do you think we will be driving fossil fuel vehicles? And is that a good thing or not so good thing? Okay, can, can I, I can I give you like, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm not a big car person. But we were talking about this the other day, about electric cars, okay? Here's what I think. I think that electric cars can only get better over time, okay? And fossil fuel vehicles, I think they will stay, but I, th I think they'll be in the state that electric cars are in right now. Because there's not many electric cars right now. So you think it'll flop? I think it'll flop. Ooh. That's what I think. Well, I mean flop. I mean flip-flop. In other words, yeah, you said right. there's one in like an hour and a half. Just do that. So I just... I think that fossil fuel vehicles are important, and if electric vehicles improve drastically, yep. then I think people switch to that. Okay. But you see, the the big thing right now is that we were talking about this the other day, right? Because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, fossil fuel is so bad for the environment." Electric cars are worse, you know. Explain. Come on. And because we were talking about, the, you know, once you get done with the batteries, what do you do with it? You dump it in the ocean. <laughs> you can't eat it, not just it. <laughs> you can't do anything with it. You drop you, it on the moon. You, drop you it take on the moon. it That's to your local ocean and just throw it in there. No. Don't listen Electric to Electrocute all the children. And, and all the turtles. All the turtles. Oh, no, not the turtles. All the turtles not will the stop turtles. using fossil fuel and they will be electric vehicles. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. So, yeah. so what you're saying is the, the disposal of the batteries is probably more harmful for the environment than fossil fuel? Yes. Woo. That's what I, that's what does in my opinion. How about this plot twist? Okay. How about to, to, to power your electric vehicle, you need fossil fuels. Electricity. How Whoa. do we get electricity? Fossil fuels. <gasps> what? Whoa. How oh could you gosh. say these things? Dang it. My drastic movements made my seatbelt lock <laughs> 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 Jurassic? Like Jura Jurassic Park? Work? Like Jurassic? dinosaurs? Wait, like like dead dinosaurs are fossil fuel! Fossil fuel! Fossil fuel! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dinosaurs. Uh, I'm so glad they died. You want my official Because I'm take? literally driving with them in my car right now. Yeah. You want to know, uh, <laughs> know my official take? Yes, come on, on, uh, come on. On electric cars? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wow, interesting. Thank you. Um, I don't care. I'll just. You know what I found out I'll, about electric cars? It's kind of depressing. I'm and I'm sure. Cars. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drive whatever. It works best. I found this out about electric cars, and if you own an electric car and this is not true, I would love for you to fact check me and let me know. 
but I heard that if you get in a car accident with an electric car and any damage is done around or to the battery, you have to replace the whole battery. Do you know how much it usually costs right now to replace the whole battery system of an electric car? How much? Between ten and $20,000. If I'm wrong, I mean, they're please, basically they're replacing the entire car. Because that because the, when you damage the batteries, it sounds like they're not real clear. If you damage it and don't know it, but then all of a sudden something happens, it could go bad. Because I also don't know if you've seen electric cars burst into flames on YouTube, but it's pretty violent. Hey, but hey, if this car burst into flames, it's going to be pretty violent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is serious. Just saying. But no. I'm with you. I don't really care. I'll drive this, whichever. This, this car is yeah. already on fire because this is a fire Oh, podcast. the fossil oh. fuel. It's, oh, sorry. I thought you was a fossil fuel no, question. No. I'm sorry. No, I was, I was just saying we're, <laughs> we're on fire for the Lord. Well, the there's literally oh, yeah. a fire in that engine. You know that, right? Yeah. Because yeah. a spark creates combustion. It's a kind of com Yeah. Well, also, there's a fire. Right. <laughs> Alright, start off. 30 seconds. I think it's a minute. Is it a minute? That you, the song know. plays for a Something like that. Copyright oh. infringement. Alright, so we've talked about electric cars. Yes. Yeah, did you give your opinion? Yeah, I did. he did it first. Yeah, okay. I did it first. Oh. Yeah. Um, I would drive an electric car. I would drive it. To Walmart. Back. Yeah. But I just don't want to right now take a trip that would take me six hours. I don't want it to turn into a 12 hour trip. Yeah. No. No, I'm just, call me selfish. Call me a shrimp, a shellfish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh, all right. Okay. Next question. If you're still with us, oh, I have you get bonus points. Huh? I have something very controversial. Uh-oh, uh come on, Sam. You get 10 try bucks. I don't know if that's No, quit giving away try bucks, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that much of a leader. Is that a thing? Tribux? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. Do you not know about Tribux? No. Did we do Tribux after you left? Yeah. Yeah. Tribux haven't been around for. Tribux are the thing. Tribux Shout out to Tribux. How much? How much is it? A dollar. They're worth it. Oh, they're Basically, worth a, one a one Tribux is worth a buck in the snack shack. Oh wow. We have our own money in the in the land of Tribians. Yep. That's right. Okay. I, I got a I got a controversial question. I, I don't think we'll cut it out of the video, but um, so. Do you think I'm editing this? Do I you think it. that anxiety and depression? Well, okay, what is the point? Okay, here we go. Okay, here we is, go. What is the point? Where, I'm getting nervous already. <laughs> where is the point when anxiety and depression becomes a crutch and not a real thing? Oh. Woo! Okay. And so what? So wait a minute. Are you assuming that sometimes it is? Yes. Oh. Okay. See, that's why I'm, I'm like, so you're basically making an assumption with your question. Yeah. yeah. You're not denying that stressing, anxiety, and depression are real. It is It is real, but okay. do you, where is the point where it becomes a crutch and not a real okay. thing? Because oftentimes, especially in today's culture, people will be like, oh, well, I can't go out to a party because I got social anxiety. Okay. You know, I can't do this because I... And you're missing out on so many factors of life and you can't face hard situations. And you and could be missing out on some of the things that can actually help you with your social life. Right, yeah. and if you never face it, then it's going to be a crutch forever. Ooh. That was straight up. Yeah. Now, here's the question, though. Is his conclusion flawed in any way? Yeah, is it? Okay. Dude, that was amazing. Oh, that was, wow, this coming really up good. with that on the spot? We Just boom! Oh. That's like fire, like fossil fuel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I told you I was going somewhere with that. I know. <laughs> good question. Um, all right. Um, wow, that's a good question. Okay. Yes, anxiety and depression are literal things. Yes. For yes. sure. Okay. For sure. Clinical things, sometimes. Okay. Um, I think no matter what, though, there is a line where you can't just make excuses because, like, I oh, I can't be happy because I'm depressed. I've been diagnosed with depression. I can't be happy. Okay. Like, 
Uh, I loved how, I think it was, uh, what was his name? Johnny Gibbs Jr. Uh, the guy that was at the conference. What conference? No, David Gibbs Jr. The, uh, uh the March Like a Champion conference. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I yeah. I, I think it was David Gibbs Jr. Um, I loved how he said this, that we as Christians have a divine resource of joy. Whoa. Come on. Um, and I wholeheartedly believe that. We have a divine resource of joy, meaning yes. it's already there. Yes. We have it. It's a reservoir that exists. Yes. There is never... There's a there's never a moment where you don't have something to be joyful about because it's right there all the time. You have been given breath. Woo! Yeah, you have been you are not struck down by the might of God right wow. now. We have His grace. We grace have His grace. Live. Wow! Constantly, constantly, you are constantly deserving of death, and God is constantly forgiving. And giving us salvation that we are already had because we already died to our old self <laughs> and we're crucified with Christ. I'm so, coming down to the altar again, baby. <laughs> Woo! So he's been saved three times. I'm serious <laughs> already. Um, I'm gonna pucker up and we'll be baptized so much in His goodness. There, yes, there are times to be sad. Mm. I think there is a line mm. between sadness and depression. And sorrow. Okay. Oh. Because Explain. if you, Come on. What are you talking about? if you are like being sad that like a loved one died, okay, that is legit. a legit Whatever. thing. Legit. But even with like with that example, a friend of mine, his grandpa died uh, a couple days ago. Okay. But he went to church that night. So he he was because not, okay because. Even in that sadness of, oh, I'm not going to see my grandpa. Yes. His grandpa is rejoicing in the presence of God right now. Yeah, yeah. And he so, knows that. So he will see his grandpa again. Yes. And he knows that because he has that resource of joy. Woo! Reservoir. That even though, Woo, even though he is sad, so, so even though we can be sad sometimes. Yeah. We still have that joy so, in us. So are you saying that sometimes the issue is we just don't tap into the reservoir that's already there? Yes. So basically... And you that's have, where uh, I think the line with sorrow is. Right. Because when I think of the word sorrow, I think of someone that is just... There is no happiness in them. And this, they're not even They're not, they even, are not wanting even wanting it. Okay, that's interesting. And because, we, the, because sorrow in... And sadness are legitimate emotions that we can actually give to the Lord and, and worship honestly. Yeah. But there's something about being honest and doing it that helps you to remember what you're thankful for that kind of gets you through it. Yeah. Like there's a whole book in the Bible called Lamentations. Boom. Look it up, people. It's really there. It's about being sad. And it, it's basically a big complaint session. But it's complaining knowing to, you're with the Lord. Your yeah. sadness and it's limited. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Wow. And, and wow. so I would say Oh. Oh traffic jam. I love it. A little bit. Kenny's such a good driver, he saw it coming a mile away. However, these twenty cars down the left side over here do not Nope. They had to do an exit. Um Anyways, I think that depression is one of the worst things to have to deal with. Okay. But as a Christian, you have to learn to constantly, like every day, you, like people who don't, like as Christians just in general, every day you have to remember that God has saved you. Every day you have to remember, yeah. hey, I'm not going to, I'm going to try my best not to sin. Not sinning is a decision you make every single moment. And so with that, I'm not saying depression is a sin, but I'm saying that there, in, this, in a similar, similar way, every moment you have to try and tap into so, that reservoir. So the word, so the word is for, 
for us, for people who are in Christ, we should really thank the Lord and work and, and strive in our brain to never despair. Yes, that's a good one. In Christ, yeah. we never have a reason to despair. Yeah. There's sometimes a reason to be depressed, a little sadness. Yes. But it can easily turn into, um, it can turn into joy. It can turn into, for some, sadness may turn into all kinds of things. But letting it go to despair is something that we should be very watchful of. Yeah. Because there is a temptation to do that. We, yeah. There's a temptation to take any emotion and sin with it. Yeah. So it's a good point. Sam, what do you think? I think that... Um, Luke just downloaded a bunch of stuff. Sam, what do you think? <laughs> I think that... I, I think that's a wonderful point. That, you know, it is okay to be... Uh, it, it, it's okay to be sad because not only is sadness something that is, I, I mean, it is God given because everything's God given. I agree. Right? I believe yeah. sadness is. Yeah. I like it. And yeah. I also think sadness can be a sign of reverence. Woo. Okay. Yeah. For not only those who have passed, but for other things. So I think it's important. But follow up question Is anxiety a sin? Because he said, the Lord, the Lord says, yeah. do not be anxious about anything. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Now so, Sam is bringing up the Bible. Come on. Yeah. So uh, then, what's the word? Are, wait, Sam, were you going to answer it? Were you asking it and moving to an answer? I was gonna. I was gonna partially answer. Go for so it. Go I ahead. Think Take that it. Being anxious about things. I think that we're humans and we sin, and so that's bound to happen. We're gonna be anxious about some things, but the word says, "Don't be anxious about anything." Anything. What? Right. So. It's not. A, so what you're saying so, is that word's not an accident. That word is not an accident. But I, I, it's a little bit, it's, it's a tricky question because sometimes it makes me wonder, we're going to be anxious about something, but we were talking about this the other day. Sometimes we just have to do it scared because Ooh. the opposite, okay. Shout the, out. I had a, I had a, one of my sisters in the Lord taught me that beautiful lesson. How do you do it? You just do it scared. You just, you just, if it's a good thing to do, you do it scared. The perfect opportunity is never going to come. What? And that is, that is. It's, it's true. Dude, if you hung on to this part of the video, it was worth getting through all oh, that first yeah. part. Come on, Sam. Keep going. I, I, I just think that in, in anything in life, not just in like in religious things too, but I think, you know, jumping off a cliff, you know, to go to go in the water, if it's something you want to do, the perfect opportunity is never going to come. You're never going to be able to jump off that diving board because the conditions are never going to be perfect. Okay. You know? So, and even if you're somebody who is struggling with their faith right now, mm -hmm. you're never gonna have that opportunity to where it's just perfect and you can open up to something. Sometimes you gotta open up to other Christians, fellow Christians around you to help you and to help them. But if you don't do it, then nobody else is gonna follow. Yeah, which is a good prayer. It's like, Lord, I, I need to share this. Because you do, you need to let that flow out. Because right. you're right, I think the anxiousness, I think we do have to be careful when we throw out that I have anxiety. Because as a Christian, when you know what the Bible says about anxiety, you need to be real careful when you throw out that word. Right. Yeah. Because what you could be, uh, what you could be doing is it might not actually be anxiety, but you're using the word that God says you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to struggle along with that. Yeah. It is a reality because yeah. He says don't be anxious. So like when you're anxious, you're not you're not supposed to continue it. So I think sometimes we have to watch that. Yeah. Um, especially when the culture sometimes starts to put that word and that phrase in for when you're just really scared of everything and you have social anxiety, which is people are nervous being around people. Yeah. Yeah, people are nervous being by themselves. Uh, I'm pretty scared of the dark. It's not the dark I'm scared of. It's the stuff I can't see in the dark. Yeah. Well, yeah, as long as my wife is with me, I'm not scared of the Because my wife is pretty awesome. Tracy is amazing. And so I just hold on to her and say, let me protect you. <laughs> Joking, joking. All right. <laughs> All right. We got another question? That was a good one. Well, the social... I want to do this. I want to go back to one that Sam brought up earlier. Because uh -huh. he, he talked about YouTube influencers is a legitimate business. Sam, you had a question before we recorded about something. Oh, yeah. Brian Trahan. If anybody knows him... Okay. Is he worth following? He is definitely worth it. Okay. on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to him. He's 
Christian influencer, right? And he just recently announced it on the Anthony Padilla podcast. Is that another good one, or is that a sketchy? Uh, it's, 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 I would not recommend for fellow Christians to watch the <laughs> Anthony Padilla podcast, but I saw it, and I really wanted to watch it. So, so you watched it, you watched that one because he was on it. Right. Okay. And it, it's, it's not, it's not super bad, but, but okay. the rest of his content isn't the most Christian thing, right? Okay. So, anyway, uh, he was on there, and they were asking him about his faith and stuff, and he said, I am a Christian, and that's where I get my source of joy. And he went off of that and said, that's where you like Luke was saying. Uh, look at that. It all connects. Reservoir. It all connects. There we go. Sometimes that reservoir is in YouTube. Duh. <laughs> just kidding. Just joking. So, um, so he said that and uh, he's just a super joyful guy. Yeah. Every time he's on camera, he's just, you know, he has that Christian way of hearing that other people see and question. You know, all of his comments are, how is Ryan so happy? How is Ryan so confrontational about this? You know, how is Ryan all this stuff? And I just was, I, we asked this earlier about, is being a Christian, is that a good way of proclaiming your faith and leading others to Christ, of uh, the way you carry yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Because since they know where that source of joy comes from, is that a good way to lead them to Christ? Or should he go up there and say, every single time, hey y'all, you know, be in the word today, and stuff like that. Yeah. So basically the question, I, I didn't from what I understand. No, the question was good. Yeah is basically this guy has never on his app, on his channel uh -huh. gone out and said I am a Christian this is why I'm so joyful right all this stuff you have to like kind of be a hardcore Ryan Trahan oh fan I am definitely a hardcore to Ryan find Trahan. out well, that he is a Christian and that's where he gets his happy his joy from um, so the question I guess would be is that enough? Or should, as a, as a right. Christian, should you have to go out out and uh, flat out say, on your whole platform, I am a Christian, let, let me tell you about the gospel. Right. Because um, mm, he does have a platform. He does he have a quite a platform. Um, so, okay. okay. I mean, I... Um, so, I... Something that's more, uh, like, on my end is I... Know a few uh, music artists who are have proclaimed to be Christians, but like they're not. They don't make Christian music. They don't make like overtly, explicit, Christian. overtly Christian music. Like yeah, they all yeah. have good. Their music their don't Christian doesn't themes, preach the gospel in it. Death, yeah. burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and so. Strong of the idea of like, okay, you even know though I, Christian. even though I would say that most songs that aren't just outright sinful and debaucherous, good songs with good messages are all singing the gospel in some way. Yeah, there's gospel in it. Yeah, like <laughs> it was funny because uh, I, I heard out about uh, can't get away from it. Yeah, they. Uh, well, even the debaucherous stuff is preaching the gospel because sin is part of the gospel. Yeah. Um, but they, uh, they were on this podcast and there's one song that, okay, so it's David Kushner and Hayde. Great artist. Sam, do you know David Kushner? I don't. They're very good. He's writing that down just in case. Um, and basically one of the, one of his songs, like one of his most popular songs, David Kushner, uh, it's called Miserable Man and it's about like starting a family with somebody and like moving out of where you were into a new place. Mm -hmm. And he said that, yeah, that's basically like my testimony and like it's about my relationship with God this whole time. Wow. And like, uh, Hate has a few songs that like, it, it sounds like it's like a love song, but it's actually his walk with the Lord. Um, and so I, I just think that's and really that's cool. form of love, so it is a love song. Ooh, oh! Fire! Fossil fuels! Fire! <laughs> we are, we are driving next Stop, to the, drop, and roll. Woo, we are driving next to the exit on 26. I, I, I grew up seven miles from this exit. Oh, really? Yeah. Just, my, yeah. my, my mom was down that road right there. Oh. Your mom's still there? Yeah, my mom. Dude, can we go say hi to your mom? I would love for, you know it would bless her heart, but we got to get back. Yeah. Um, I got a bunch of middle school boys, I got to get back to bed, mom. All right. Okay, so, anyways. So, um, go ahead. So, we, we my... My thought was like, <laughs> no matter you guys what are still they watching do, your yeah. Uh, no matter what they do, 
they're showing like okay so one of the things I brought up was uh, one I don't forget I don't know exactly what verse it is but it says they will know you by your fruits yeah and so everything every every song that they're singing all the content that he is making yep. is showing the fruits of the spirit showing love joy peace patience yeah. kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control yep shout out to First Baptist Church in the intro, kids worship, teaching me that. If you want to be a grape, you can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, love joy, peace, kind of good and faithful, and gentle and self control. Anyways, um, they're all showing those fruits in all yes. the stuff that they make. Yes. And so, well, hmm. yes, it would be really cool for them to be like, hey, this is who Jesus is. Right. He saved my life. Right. Well, right. They're doing just as much and keeping a huge platform to feed into by doing what they're doing already. Gotcha. And I think that if I think that every single one of those people, if somebody reached out and asked them, "Hey, why do you make these songs? What is what is what is your purpose and behind all this?" They, they wouldn't shy away. They would not shy away from saying. And that was it that was the statement I made to Sam. I was like, yeah. if if you have a platform and this guy has a platform. And he intentionally does not lean into the gospel when there's an opportunity. Then I would say, okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's doing a good job, but when he's asked a question and he goes, ah, well, I'm not really all about that. I'd say, okay, now you are you don't want to sacrifice your platform for the ultimate platform that you should be upholding, right? Which would mean it's an idol. Uh, and, and, I, and I wonder, I, I would I would encourage anybody with those situations, if you're going to get an opportunity to proclaim Jesus. Yeah. If you're living for Jesus and creating things that, God, that honor Him, God just works that way. All right? Yeah. So that's, you should always be prepared. Because what does it say? Be ready in and out of season to get broke. Yeah. And, and that's not a bad, that's not a bad verse in that spot to, to share that gospel. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Sam, what you think? Uh, final thoughts. Let's wrap it up, guys. It's getting Wait old. for all the whole thing? Oh, I was going to like gonna... ask another question. You have another question? <laughs> I have another question. <sighs> Can we do one more, Sam? Yeah, sure. All right, one more. We'll do one more, Luke. Okay, okay, okay. One okay. more. This might open a whole can of worms, but it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. What are your thoughts on, because we live in the South, you know, so there's a lot of this stuff going on. The people that still fly Confederate flags because it's heritage. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I, Here I we can, go. I could answer this, but I what? want. I don't want to hear Confederate y'all. Confederate flags. Oh my goodness, that's a very good question. Because uh-huh. I'm from South Carolina. Uh-huh. We used to fly one of those over the state house, and they took it down. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I say. I don't have a problem taking it down. Yeah. I don't have a problem taking it down. What do you think? Okay, what I think is, is I think that it's not exactly representative of what America supports today, but we don't support that good of things. Today. <laughs> it's like, so, that's a very good point. Yeah. But I that's think, a very good point. I think yeah. that regardless of what you want to say about the flag, it's yes. our history, right? Well, so, right. Uh, Even, it, it is it, part of our history. It, it's our history, right? So, regardless, it's already happened, and that's what it was founded on, right? So that's what it was founded on, and that is essentially our value. Well, are you talking about the Confederate flag or the 13 colonies, 13 stars flag? I'm talking about the Confederate flag. Okay. I just... Luke, I has, have, a, Luke has a hot take. I have... <laughs> I, I just, you can finish up. I think it's I, the main point I'm trying to get here is it's part of our history and it's where we came. So regardless of if it's not exactly what you want to put out today, it's still something that should be looked upon. Now, now mind with, you, I would probably say knowing Sam like I know Sam, you know what I mean, the the perspective of the Confederate flag that a lot of people have as far as it representing a desire to be racist, blah, blah, blah. Sam is not saying that's a good thing. Yeah. I say that's ridiculous. That's, I don't care. 
that is not biblical. That's not Christ-like. Yeah. Yeah. And if you got a flag that represents that, take that sucker down. Yeah. If that's what it's representing. Yeah. But I think it's also short-sighted to think that that's the only thing that it stands for. Yeah. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. This because is... you said this. If the American flag represents what our culture is right now today, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen. It's not good. If our culture today <laughs> is more defined by Christ and godliness and being a nation that honors Jesus, fly that flag. But if the culture today, when you think about America, is abortion and the, the sexual confusion we see, let me explain. More lives have been lost under that flag than under any other flag. Yeah. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. So, like, if one of our core values of America and your is... We have the right to, to kill babies, and you fly the American, then that flag is more hateful. So right. here's the deal, guys. You gotta be careful with it. Uh -huh. Because if it's about freedom and what it should stand for, I think, because I love the American flag. I love the people, I love our country. But we have to watch out for it. Yeah. Here is my thoughts. There we go. Go nuts. So, the Confederate a flag discussion. I, wow. represents the Confederacy. Okay. Correct? What is the Confederacy? I think Luke? that. What is the Confederacy? Um, let me let me finish. <laughs> Please, sir. <Sorry>. Um, <laughs> I I have, I have a fun fact for you. The Confederacy lasted five years. Come on. You know why it lasted longer? The Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. I have a flag of that. I'm just kidding. I don't really. Like. It, it is such a small portion of our so, history. So tell me where the Confederate flag bir was birthed from. It was, was from it? separation of our of, of our country. So in other words, the secession plan. Yes. Well, as a Southerner, you know, the war of Northern aggression, we call it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, so my, my take is that the Confederate flag, mm -hmm. when people fly it, it's it's basically saying I'm pretty sure they we want to be a whole other country. No, I I'm, no? I'm saying that the people the the reason that people fly the Confederate flag is not because oh, I know like my great 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 grandfather was in the Confederacy and fought for it. Okay. It's not because of that. So what do they you think They can care less. Now, hang on. Now you're making a very general statement. I'm saying that most it, most. You your most. opinion is Yes. Your opinion, because this is very important. Yes. We, you, every, every, you don't know everybody. That's true. But very likely it could be. At the heart of it. Is you just. On a mass scale. You think it's It is what? to provoke other people. You think it's to provoke other people. It is to provoke other people. <sighs> you straight yeah. out say you know those people are just trying to provoke people. I, at the heart okay. of it, I would say yes. And I would say if that's the reason you're flying it, you're wrong. You need to take it. Yes. Yeah. Because. The, what about the uh, what? So would you say it's, it's pretty similar to people who fly the transgender and LGBTQ gay flag? Yeah. Because just, because equal like, opportunity, like man, I'm just, so this is my this I'm is serious, my you know what I'm saying? If you have like a Confederate flag that was like I, someone YouTube, had it in your this family. YouTube video just got banned. I just know oh, yeah, that's okay. Sure. If if you have a Confederate flag that like oh like you, has been passed down through generations. Okay. That's pretty cool. Dude, it's like history. That's history for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're buying one from like some random person in 2023, stop. Why? <laughs> Why you, are you doing you're Because you want to make some money. Because you want to make some money. And I would agree with you. Sam, would you agree? I'm, 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 uh, I don't know. I grew up Come on, Sam. Come on. Okay. I think, this is a good discussion. I think yes. I agree because we talked about this weekend. We talked about provokers, right? We should- Ooh! Yes. Okay. He paid attention at the soundboard. Um, Sorry, that's probably loud. Enough. So <laughs> I, think, I think provoking in doing that is not correct. Okay. Because regardless if we have different views than other people, we still should provoke them because the word of them were just as bad as them, oh. right? Yes. So I think the Confederate flag shouldn't be used for that reason. 
reason. But like Luke said, if it was like passed down from generations, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's a piece of history. Piece well, of history. if you think like, about it, because... there, there are people who have like old German guns, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that person's a Nazi. I'm like, oh, that guy <laughs> likes history. Yeah, yeah he cool. likes history. Now, so so here's the question: then. If it's a truly historical thing, um, from what like you said, um, that was a legitimate time in our history. That there were all kinds of opinions and all kinds of reasons people flew that wanted to be separate from what was happening yes. because there were there was heritage and culture and traditions that were hang the, here listen that each group was afraid they were going to lose if the other had advantages. Yes. And, it's, and so just saying. And I think it's I think it's a problem that people in the South want to just completely throw away that like. Yes, the Civil War was mostly about state issues, but one of those state issues was slavery. Absolutely, yeah, it was a very big issue. Absolutely, yeah. that was one of the biggest ones that it was fought over. That's exactly and I right. Think it's, I, I think I, it's I, foolish to try and throw that away and be like, "Oh, it was only well, state issues." On another one, I, I, it's a, it's a guy I listen I would say this is a good thought experiment, a thought experiment. Um, to end slavery, was it worth? The killing of about six hundred thousand people. That is a good question. But if you think about it, if it it's a good, I'm not gonna ask yeah. you. That's just something to chew about. Maybe we'll do another podcast for that. or another. If yeah. we wouldn't have had the Civil War, then we wouldn't be where we are today either. So. Is that true. a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. We're finding out every day. We're finding out. I would have preferred we didn't have a civil war, but it doesn't really matter. It's already taking place. Right. Well, That's the other thing. So if I can go back and do this, like, it doesn't matter what you think you could do. You can't do it. It's already happened. That's you got to move forward, but we're not God. We're not God. We can't go back and fix it. We can whoa, only live today. Oh, never mind. I won't do that. That's, we can't go back and fix what happened back there. We'll be here for two hours if I ask <laughs> that question. <laughs> so, so the flag. Uh-huh. We, we, that's a good. That's a good. Yes. I think that's right. I if would you, say because also I would say remember what I said this morning when God said. Fathers, don't provoke. Don't be a provoker. I think it's also important that you realize, don't be so easily provoked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Not everybody's trying to offend you. Yeah. Because let me explain. Not everybody knows you. Actually, yeah. most people don't know you. Yeah. They don't know me. So why am I getting all offended with everybody's stuff? They don't know me. <laughs> most people are just interested in going to Starbucks and getting their coffee. I want to do when I go. Any more? That was a good one, dude. I think we're, that was a great question. That's a really no good problem. question. I think we're, I think we're, we're great, great questions. If you don't know, if you don't believe this, there's courage on this, on this video. Yeah. We will answer it because I don't know how to edit it out. So it's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. So, and by the way, if, if I'll, the next one we post, if I post, if this YouTube gets taken down, I'm going to move. I will edit. Yeah. I hope it. But if not, the YouTube people. I know every time I say YouTube, oh, some of the algorithm. We can start something. We can start something. A, oh! <laughs> I did not see what you did. There's a sign. We should not do it because we're an hour and eight minutes in. But we probably. Oh, man, that would be a good one. It says rejoice. God loves trans people. Or trans kids. Oh, man, don't make the podcast two hours, man. And Where I'm just going to. I'm going to kill that with one stone. Watch out. No. no. <laughs> God loves trans kids. That is true. Does God love that they are trans? Absolutely not. All that needs to be said. Absolutely All not. All that needs to be said. So what you say is he loves the kids, but he died for the sin. Oh, yep. Oh. And let me tell you, that is the salvation of all of us. With that said, say bye, Luke. Bye. Say bye, Sam. Bye. Love you guys. <laughs>